I've been wanting to buy this truck and I've been so busy with work that I haven't been able to make it into the dealership. Well, Raritans and Monroe is actually bringing the vehicle to me. <gasps> I gotta go, it looks like it's here right now. I'll call you back. Too busy to schedule a test drive? Raritans of Monroe will bring the test drive to you. It's part of our new concierge service personalized car shopping built for today's customer. It's another reason why Raritans of Monroe is a customer service champion. Let us know what we can do for you. When you shop at Ace Hardware in Everett and Lake Stevens, we'll help you find what you're looking for and offer friendly advice too. Owners Greg and Christine are all about serving their customers and their community. They support local high school sports and many other community organizations and events. So the next time you need help with your to-do list or project around the house, bring it to Ace. They'll greet you at the door and help you find whatever you need fast. Show your support for locally owned businesses. Shop Ace Hardware just off Highway 9 in Lake Stevens and Evergreenway in Everett. Ace is the place for the helpful hardware folks. As a leading builder of new homes and commercial properties in western Washington, Gamut 360 Holdings has built a reputation for honest communication, exceptional customer service, and superior craftsmanship since 2003. Our 360-degree construction approach guarantees each project is designed and built with you in mind, matching first-class materials with the highest of construction standards. From the planning stages to the final walkthroughs, Gamut 360 delivers trusted, sustainable investments that exceed owner expectations and and transform Northwest neighborhoods. Gamut 360, design, create, inspire. Good evening, welcome to the Snohomish High School Gym for some non-conference action tonight, televised live on STSPN. I'm Mike Buckles and I'm here with Todd Elvig who is the producer for tonight's high school boys contest featuring the Interlake Saints coached by David Whitfield visiting the Snohomish Panthers coached by Jim Wilson and we also have Jeff Matson here doing some stats for us and he's also got the second camera up going to be a good ball game tonight the Interlake Saints are a 3A school located in Bellevue and are currently in fifth place in the Kinko 2A 3A conference the Saints have a league record of 2 and 7 they are 7 and 9 Overall, an average 54.1 points per game. The Saints give up 54.6 points per game. The Snohomish Panthers are 13th out in the 15-team league West Coast Conference with a record of 2-8 and eight in Conference 5-10 and 10 overall. However, the Snohomish Panthers uh, are 10th because... Uh, that's the 3A section, and that also puts them 11th in the RPI. They are battling for that 10th and final playoff spot. The Panthers average 51.4 points per game and give up 52.9. Should be a very even contest tonight. Non-conference at Saturday night, almost a full moon special. Want to thank you for joining us. We're getting ready here to announce the starting lineups. The Interlake Saints are wearing the light blue uniforms trimmed in white and navy blue. Snohomish Panthers with their home whites trimmed in red and black. Ezra Egby is the first starter announced for David Whitfield. Uh, the Interlake Saints, he's a 6'3" senior guard for Snohomish. It is Jacob Branville, the 6'2", junior guard for the Saints. Russell Morrison, a 6'2", senior guard. Joshua Vander, Vandergrind, Vandergrind, number 12. He's a 5'8", freshman guard for the Panthers. And alternating order, Pierre Joseph, number 5, a 5'11", junior guard for the Interlake Saints. Number 20, Colton Smith, 6'4", wing guard. He is a senior for the Snohomish Panthers. Number 15, Miles Chandler, 6'1", forward, a senior for the Saints. Tate Conover, starting at post, a senior for Snohomish. For the Panthers, or the, excuse me, Conover is for the Panthers, for the Saints. Number 24, Derek Kramer, 6'8", sophomore center. And rounding out the lineup for the Panthers, 6'2", Grady Kench, excuse me, 6'3". And he is a sophomore post. It is now 
Time for the presentation of the flag. We'll be right back. McDaniel's Do It Center is located in beautiful Snohomish, Washington. Locally owned and operated for over 40 years, they are proud to provide the Snohomish Valley with exceptional hardware, tools, lawn and garden, and sporting goods products. Their commitment to delivering legendary customer service and their outstanding employees continue to make McDaniel's the best and one of the most recognized Do It Best centers in the nation. Stop by and experience for yourself the difference between McDaniel's and the big box stores. Discover why so many people are choosing to shop at McDaniel's. And Mike Buckles here along with producer Todd Elvig. And Todd, you were here setting up uh, early tonight. You got everything all squared away? I did get everything squared away. But you know, I've come to find out that it doesn't matter how early you start. Uh, it, 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 sometimes things just go sideways. But here we are. We're 1080p tonight. It's nice and tight. And nothing went sideways, I hope? Nope. It's all looking good. We're... Uh, We've got a, you, you can go ahead and put this full screen there, ladies and gentlemen, because it's nice, tight video tonight. All right. Well, if it's not a full moon, I, I hear we got some uh, things coming up on Monday. It's supposed to be a full blood moon, as it's called. I'm not really sure what that means unless it uh, goes by the color. I have some good moon pictures, but uh, we are here Saturday night live on STSPN Center Jump going to take place between Smith and the six foot eight Derek Kramer. Kramer wins the tip. Man-to-man -man defense for the Panthers as the Saints initiate the offense. And a nice baseline drive and a two-footed jump stop. I'd like to see that. Pierre Joseph on the left side from the block. Two zip Saints. And it looked like there wasn't going to be much help, but Kramer came over the six foot eight sophomore and blocked that shot. Good take to the hoop by Joshua Vandergrind for the Panthers, but it was blocked. So two nothing and the Saints will have the ball out of bounds. The Saints play in the Kinko two way 3A conference. They are a 3A team out of Bellevue. Man-to-man -man defense for the Panthers. Looking at the screen and roll, and so far, both shots taken by Pierre. He was good on a drive earlier. That three goes off the rim, and we end up with the team rebound for the Panthers. High post entry, Conover takes a look, gives it out, set play. Colton Smith bombing the three. Gives the Panthers the lead early here in the first quarter. Well-designed set play. That one's used quite a bit in high school. And breaking out off of the screen is Russell Morrison for the Saints over on the right side. And he answers that, so it is now five to three. The Saints on top. Going to split the high post here. Good way to get into the motion offense. Short off the iron, Colton Smith, and here come the Saints. Snohomie staying with that man-to-man -man defense. Not a lot of ball pressure way out as. The Saints work the ball, setting some screens. That shot off the iron, scramble, loose ball. Conover comes up with that. Vandergrind gives it up to Colton Smith on the left side. Good again. The Saints are going to have to get a hand up on him as. The 6'4 senior stepping out and bombing down a couple of three balls. 6'5, Snohomish. It's 
Strong dip, dribble drive. Russell Morrison uses the glass. He's got five. Seven to six, back and forth we go. Although this is a non-league contest as uh, the Panthers turn it over, it's an important game in terms of both of these teams are on the bubble basically for trying to get the playoffs and they're going to be using the RPI. There's Morrison again, has that one rim out. But Kramer, the 6'8 sophomore, is there with the putback. Saints up 9-6 and now we're going to see 2-2-1 two, two, pressure by Interlake. Vandergrind dribbles through and is going to set up the offense. Nice defense by Pierre Joseph out there as he stopped the dribble penetration. Smith, NBA range. He cans another one. And Ezra Egby of Interlake looking out. Like, coach, what am I supposed to do? I had him out there at 25 feet. Nine points. And now, with 4.18 to go, for Snohomish and all nine are owned by Colton Smith. We've got a timeout on the court. We'll be right back here on SDSBN. Did you know that Speedway Chevrolet is part of the Lee Johnson Auto family? That means 84 years of serving you the LJ way. Need a truck? We have the perfect truck to fit your needs. Half tons, one ton, two wheel drives, and four wheel drives. Our finance specialists are here to help you, whether you have good credit or bad credit. We're just off Highway 522 at West Main Street in Monroe. Lee Johnson Auto Family, the LJ Way. Welcome back. SDSBN, we have the Interlake Saints with nine points. The Snohomish Panthers also with nine. First time out, 418 to go. Been a good matchup. On paper, this looks like a pretty even matchup. The Saints so far are 2-0 and oh against West Coast teams. The only team that they have played that's common is Linwood. The Saints winning a close one, and the Panthers losing a close one to Linwood. So there is a turnover. Caden Keithley is checked in for the Panthers. He comes up with the loose ball. And inside, Cade Dittrickson, the 6'4 junior, it looks like is going to be called for that foul. As Branville got inside, nice little head fake twitch to freeze the defenders and went up. And drew the foul. Granville, the junior, makes one of two. It's Morrison with the board. Here come the Saints. Still man-to-man -man for... Looks like a zone look now. I take it back. 1-3-1 one, one zone for the Panthers. Looking to trap out of that. There's a good reversal. Pierre into the lane. They're going to have to reset. Shot clock down to 10. Ibrahim is checked into the game for the Saints as well. There's a rebound by Morrison and a new clock. 35 second clock in boys basketball. Moving the ball quickly around the horn. Ezra Egby with the three ball. The lefty. Look good on that. 12-10. Interlake Saints. They drop back into their man-to-man. Snohomish who may be looking for the high screen and roll. Going to set up something else. Shot clock down to 10. Three ball on the way off the iron. Wes Oslin with the miss, and here come the Saints. Again, facing that zone defense. Unable to get anything inside right now. Snohomish doing a good job of clogging up the middle. Now it goes inside. Weak side pass. Nice assist. 
Russell Morrison with the finish. He has seven. 14 to 10. That was a good look by Didrikson as he was playing the short corner. There's a good look inside for us. Nahomish has it rim out. Morrison coming up with the rebound. And Morrison with another slick pass, and he finds Egby for the layup. Egby with five. We're going to have a Snohomish timeout. 16 to 10. Interlake over Snohomish. We'll be right back here on SDSPN. Every year, thousands of groups depend on Adrenaline Fundraising to help reach their financial goals. Adrenaline Fundraising is about developing leaders through commitment, work ethic, and follow through. Adrenaline has several products including gold cards, coupon books, cookie dough, donation programs, and many other options to help teams raise the funds needed for their programs. Adrenaline's new app called Upay will help teams raise money while providing their supporters the ability to earn cash back on everyday purchases at places like Starbucks, Nike, Red Robin, and over 200 plus national retailers. Adrenaline Fundraising is this season's sponsor of the STSPN's Play of the Game Award. Welcome back. Mike Buckles here on STSPN along with producer, technical director Todd Elvig. 16 to 10, Interlake has the momentum right now, showing a little bit of 2 1 2 full court pressure. Let's see how Snohomish solves that. And. Uh, Broken easily by Vandergrind as he crosses the mid-court line. Trying to set up man-to-man -man pressure. High post is going to be a set play for the Panthers. It breaks down a little bit, taking it to the rim. Strong move and the layup. Grady Kench, sophomore post player, got an opportunity here for three-point play the old-fashioned way. And he makes good on that. Cuts the lead to three, and now the Panthers gonna show some token full court pressure. Breaking that easily is Ibrahim. Goes down inside, and it is knocked out of bounds by Branvold. Goes over to the student section. It's kind of hard to tell the student section is here. They're not making much noise right now. Usually, Saturday at this time, I would think the students would be pretty vocal, but not saying much of anything. Maybe they got their selfie sticks out. Yeah. Saints moving the ball around the horn against zone pressure way out comes off the iron you got to have your hands up guys because if it comes off the rim short like that it's going to bounce off somebody and go out of bounds that is a team rebound for the panthers owen kastner has checked in he gives it back to vandergrind who has his shot blocked Tried to split the defenders. Might have been Diedrichsen that got the block for the Saints. Final minute here now of the quarter. Joe Barrows steps in with his first points. A three ball from the left corner pocket. Makes it 19 to 13. And Kind of got caught between wanting to shoot and maybe pass. Kind of looked like an awkward pivot there for Grady Kench. It's finally knocked off of him, and it will still remain with the Panthers. We've got a box formation screen away, and a wild pass. Now we're going to have a rugby scrum. Panthers stay with it, though. Clock down to nine. Smith. This time with pressure, air ball. Last opportunity here for the Saints. And there's a three on the way off the iron. And that's going to do it as Brandvold gets the rebound. We have reached the end of the first quarter here on STS PN. It is Interlake 19, Snohomish 13. We'll be right back after this break. 
McDaniel's Do It Center is located in beautiful Snohomish, Washington. Locally owned and operated for over 40 years, they are proud to provide the Snohomish Valley with exceptional hardware, tools, lawn and garden, and sporting goods products. Their commitment to delivering legendary customer service and their outstanding employees continue to make McDaniel's the best and one of the most recognized Do It Best centers in the nation. Stop by and experience for yourself the difference between McDaniel's and the big box stores. Discover why so many people are choosing to shop at McDaniel's. We are all frustrated with the high cost of heating and cooling our homes. At GNS, we are completely changing the way you keep your home comfortable. Because we are Snohomish County's premier Lennox dealer, we can design a perfect system for you, one that will save you a lot of money on your utility bill. The Lennox Home Comfort System creates the ideal home environment. Enjoy innovation in every season with precise, quietly efficient Lennox heat pumps that keep your life simply perfect. Call GNS Heating, Cooling, and Electric today or visit us at gsheating.com. Welcome back. This is Mike Buckles on STSPN. And the Panthers of Snohomish have the basketball trailing 19-13 to against Interlake. Panthers only had three people score in that first quarter, and it was Colton Smith leading the way with nine. And the Panthers had the ball now working against man-to-man -man pressure. Smith with another three on the way. And he has been more closely guarded by Interlake since busting those uh, early threes. Miles Chandler has checked in. Chandler gives it up to Joe Barrows. And Barrows hits his second three of the contest. He now has six, extending the lead to 22-13. to 13. And loose ball, Panthers stay with it. Good pressure by the Saints. Block shot in there, wild stretch of play. Free jumper on the way, comes off the back iron. Things are cold for the Panthers right now, but they have a new clock and they're gonna reset up. It's Vandergrein, kicks it over to Oslin. They're gonna split the high post. Nice up fake, and getting the roll is Josh Vandergrind. 22 to 15. Aggressive drive to the basket by Ibrahim Ibrahim. Number 11, 5'10", junior guard. And that is just the third foul on Snohomish. Just two fouls so far on Interlake as Ibrahim is good on the first. Got a couple of subs, three subs coming in. One for Snohomish. Wyatt Wilson checking in. Derek Kramer returns for the Saints. And second free throw is good. That's gonna bring Pierre Joseph back in. 24 to 15 as the Saints have put together a couple of little runs. A couple of 6-0, 7-0 runs and they now have a nine point lead. Staying man to man. Gonna have that high screen and roll. Pull up jumper, partially blocked and rebounded by Morrison. Here come the Saints. Transition, three on the way. And nice rebound. But the Saints give it back as Vandergreen. Now, and Vandergreen did one of those things that will typically happen is, is that he got the ball and got trapped and then put it up over his head. And the problem for Josh is that he's 5'8", and he was double teamed by the 6'8", Kramer, who promptly tied him up. So in that situation, you need to keep the ball down a little bit lower there. And the jump ball goes to the Saints. So that is a turnover. Snohomish so should switch back to a man-to-man -man defense. Ball is knocked away, so out of bounds opportunity. Let's see what the Saints try to do. It's going to look like a standard box formation here. And they're going to screen for the inbounder. There it is. 
He is not open, so they're going to reset their offense. Russell Morrison handling. And he finds his teammate wide open inside, but we got the Saturday Night Fever dance step. <laughs> As Miles Chandler. Happy Feet. Happy Feet, the electric slide. And Smith gets loose off of a fade screen, misses the three, hit his first three. And nice lob pass inside. But Kramer a little bit out of control. And here we're going to have another one back the other way. And a good block by Chandler. So the Saints come back with it. Tempo's starting to pick up a little bit. Chandler, long two on the way. That rims out, and Kench comes up with the rebound for the Panthers. So the score remains the same, 24 to 15 at the five minute mark. Panthers looking to run their offense. They're trying to get it inside. Everybody else is standing around. Short on the pass. Good defense by the Saints. And the Panthers seem to be standing around just a little bit on the offensive end. Trailing by nine, 24 to 15. And we're gonna have a timeout to either tie a shoe or repair the Velcro, depending on the style <laughs> that we see these days. See all kinds of different styles out there. I saw an advertisement for some laceless basketball shoes or self-tying. Yeah, it's, I think Nike's got a new uh, self-tying. I don't even know what that's about. I don't either. As There's another miss inside by the 6'8 Kramer and a good battle for the rebound. Smith comes down with it for the Panthers. And Kramer bothers that shot though by Wes Osland as he got inside. Tried to do the haagen scoop. And we were talking before the game about some uh, different calls, and there's one right there as Jeff Madsen doing the stats also does, does some officiating. And we saw Pierre Joseph get called for that carry the ball, hesitation dribble, and then the move. We saw that made famous by Allen Iverson in the NBA, and so that one got called. That is a turnover for the Saints. Snohomish just not being that efficient running their offense, and Smith finally forces one up from the foul line. He's rebounded by Joseph, and here comes Morrison. He does the Euro step through the lane, and the basket goes but will not count. Morrison would like to have that back. Instead, that is just the fourth foul. Forrest and Holmish, that one called on Grady Kench, his first. And neither team has scored for a while here. The gym doesn't seem like it has any energy in it either. Yeah, that's true, but sometimes it's up to the performers to provide the energy for them. And uh, so far, the energy has been all interlake and until uh, they uh, threw the ball away right there as man-to-man -man defense high post entry going for the steal and not getting it goes inside as Oslin whose man went for the steal was open but the shot got bothered back the other way Morrison misses and we got the cellophane over the rim on both baskets here, so we might have to call gym maintenance as we're now down to the three minute mark, still 24 to 15. Operating inside and with a nice left-handed Grady Kench. Now with five as deft move using the backboard, nice reverse pivot there. And Interlake throws it away as Pierre Joseph, a little lazy pass, trying to throw that hook pass to nonchalant, and suddenly a quick four-point run for the Panthers. They get it inside. Interlake now with 
a cold spell, and Pierre Joseph makes up for that errant pass by going back to what he started the game with, the baseline drive on the left side, and he drops it over the rim, 26-19. We're getting near the two-minute mark. Inside it goes, and nice block. I like the up fake, tries it again, and knocked out of bounds, but a good rebound and a block shot. Going to be credited to Derek Kramer, just a sophomore at six foot eight, And he allowed Grady Kench to get a little bit too deep into the paint, but then held his position and was able to fend off the attack. And here come the Saints. We're under two minutes to go here. Pierre Joseph looking. Three ball on the way. That's going to be short. And that's going to go out of bounds. Another team rebound for Snohomish. I want to thank you for joining us here on STSPN. On a Saturday. On a Saturday night. And if it's not a full moon, it is close to a full moon. Not that that means anything. Other than gives us something to talk about <laughs> when there's no action going on here. All right, going to split that high post again, getting into their emotion offense with the down screens. They're looking inside and not open and being double teamed in there. Nice left-handed shot off target, rebounded. Kramer again battling inside against Kench. Interlake with the quick three. That's I Ubi in the game. Let's correct that. It's Ayub Aiden. And clock is now stopped as once again at the line is Kench. As he has been battling in there, foul is called on Ayubi Aiden, that's going to be just the third foul on Interlake. And to some degree, you can tell a little bit by how many fouls are being called by what the intensity is like. I anticipate that to pick up here in the second half as a couple of free throws are good Puts for Grady Kinch. What's that? Yeah. Within six, I mean. Yeah, they're coming back. So it was a little slow there, but they got that little uh, little run here. And Interlake settling for the outside shot, but Snohomish giving up the offensive rebound and Joseph staying with it as Morrison created the steal. Joseph missing one but getting the put back, and now it's an opportunity for the Panthers to have the last shot of the half, trailing 28 to 20. And it's Vandergrind seeing what he can come up with. Cree Andrews has checked in. He's setting the screen for Vandergrind. Vandergrind forces one up. Runs out of there and rebounded by Morrison. We have reached the half. The score is 28 to 20. Interlake on top over the Snohomish Panthers. We'll be back for some halftime stats after these words from our sponsors here on SDSPN. McDaniel's Do It Center is located in beautiful Snohomish, Washington. Locally owned and operated for over 40 years, they are proud to provide the Snohomish Valley with exceptional hardware, tools, lawn and garden, and sporting goods products. Their commitment to delivering legendary customer service and their outstanding employees continue to make McDaniel's the best and one of the most recognized Do It Best centers in the nation. Stop by and experience for yourself the difference between McDaniel's and the big box stores. Discover why so many people are choosing to shop at McDaniel's. 
McDaniel's Do It Center is located in beautiful Snohomish, Washington. Locally owned and operated for over 40 years, they are proud to provide the Snohomish Valley with exceptional heart. You know how I've been wanting to buy this truck and I've been so busy with work that I haven't been able to make it into the dealership? Well, Raritans and Monroe is actually bringing the vehicle to me. I gotta go, it looks like it's here right now, I'll call you back. Too busy to schedule a test drive? Raritans of Monroe will bring the test drive to you. It's part of our new concierge service personalized car shopping built for today's customer. It's another reason why Raritans of Monroe is a customer service champion. Let us know what we can do for you. When you shop at Ace Hardware in Everett and Lake Stevens, we'll help you find what you're looking for and offer friendly advice too. Owners Greg and Christine are all about serving their customers and their community. They support local high school sports and many other community organizations and events. So the next time you need help with your to-do list or project around the house, bring it to Ace. They'll greet you at the door and help you find whatever you need fast. Show your support for locally owned businesses. Shop Ace Hardware just off Highway 9 in Lake Stevens and Evergreenway in Everett. Ace is the place for the helpful hardware folks. As records tumbled and enemies cried, came the birth of a legend. But we did not sleep. We did not rest. With knowledge gained and lessons learned, a legend was born to search and destroy. Respect the beast, but don't wake the monster. Every year, thousands of groups depend on Adrenaline Fundraising to help reach their financial goals. Adrenaline Fundraising is about developing leaders through commitment, work ethic, and follow-through. Adrenaline has several products including gold cards, coupon books, cookie dough, donation programs, and many other options to help teams raise the funds needed for their programs. Adrenaline's new app called Upay will help teams raise money while providing their supporters the ability to earn cash back on everyday purchases at places like Starbucks, Nike, Red Robin, and over 200 plus national retailers. Adrenaline Fundraising is this season's sponsor of the STSPN's Play of the Game Award. We are all frustrated with the high cost of heating and cooling our homes. At GNS, we are completely changing the way you keep your home comfortable. Because we are Snohomish County's premier Lennox dealer, we can design a perfect system for you, one that will save you a lot of money on your utility bill. The Lennox Home Comfort System creates the ideal home environment. Enjoy innovation in every season with precise, quietly efficient Lennox heat pumps that keep your life simply perfect. Call GNS Heating, Cooling, and Electric today or visit us at gsheating.com.
try that again because I uh, okay. had the music on. Okay. Mike Buckles here on STSPN for our halftime stat show. I'm here with Todd Eldig, our producer. And we just got a compliment, and I had to just butcher it. <laughs> well. <laughs> That's almost like saying he's going to – He's. I uh, wonder if he's going to make the next jinxing, shot. Jinxing yeah. the free throws. Yeah, 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 I know the announcer's jinx, which happens a lot. And Mark Ockett and I tried that the other night when yeah. we were doing the game with you at Everett there, uh-huh. and it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think Arlington hit 24 out of 27. We just kept thinking that we would be jinxing them. Uh, Jeff Madsen here has compiled some, some stats, some stats for us. So let's take a look. Uh, uh, first of all, uh, Ezra Egby has five for the uh, Interlake Saints. Russell Morrison with seven. Pierre Joseph with four. Ibrahim uh, Ibrahim has two points. Miles Chandler. Oh, Miles Chandler, three rebounds. I'm sorry, I was looking at uh, rebounds there instead of points. Uh, Also, number 21, Joe Barrows with a couple of three balls, so he's got a total of six. And the 6'8 man inside, young Derek Kramer, with just two points so far, but he's been a force on the defensive end with seven rebounds and at least one block shot. Uh, Morrison also chipping in with five boards for the Saints. Taking a look here at the Snohomish Panthers. Working inside the sophomore, Grady Kench, six points. Joshua Vandergrind, the point guard, with two. Jacob Brand Vold with a single free throw for just one point and leading the way for the Panthers of Snohomish is the 6'4 senior, Colton Smith, with a total of 11. 28-20 28-20 is the halftime score, and Panthers got to get on the rebounds as that they only have 10 total rebounds. Kench with two, and Smith with two. Also, Wes Oslin, who came in off the bench, also has a couple of rebounds. It's been a pretty clean ball game so far, just four fouls for Snohomish, three for the Saints. The Saints also just have three turnovers, and Snohomish just five turnovers. So we are somewhat anticipating the intensity of this to pick up. It's uh, Frankly, it's had a little bit of that uh, summer uh, kind of feel to it, sort of a summer scrimmage. But realistically, with the RPI in effect and both of these teams on the bubble for looking at the playoff spots, they might need this RPI victory here. Uh, to squeak into the playoffs. Also, we have a fan here. His name was Terry who came by and said he had some listeners that said some nice things about it, and that's what you were alluding to. That is. Right after it was what happened, and we had that uh, one air coming back in. And From San Diego. What's his name? Angus McDonald. Angus. Oh, he said he, was, uh, he was, uh, wasn't Irish. Irish. Oh, Irish. Angus McDonald. Irishman living in San Diego, or at least Irish ancestry. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Of course, one of my favorite guitar players yeah. is named <laughs> Angus, so you, you can't go wrong there, can you? you absolutely not. 28, hey, what's 20. your band's name? My band is called Bakula. Bakula? Yeah. I don't even want to know what that means. <laughs> it doesn't really mean anything. Sort of. It's a long story. Okay. <laughs> It can be a short story, too. uh, Inside it goes Panthers and another block shot as Kench at 6'3", trying to once again attack the 6'8", Derek Kramer. And Kramer, using his height and long arms, staying behind him, got another block. And here come the Saints. They're not quite marching in, but they are moving the ball with the pass pretty well. They just went a little cold there in the second quarter, but they have the eight-point lead. Shot clock down to 15 now. Joseph works out top. Inside it goes, and that's going to be a foul as Kench gave up deep position, and that's really not a bad foul as Kramer was deep inside. It is his second foul, however. And a little bit look on the out, a different look on the out-of-bounds play. Nevertheless, 
it's going to be a turnover for the Saints as they fail to execute here early in the third quarter. And Snohomish, again, just uh, walking the ball up the court and facing the man-to-man -man defense. Trying to work inside again, a little bit of contact and nice offensive rebound by Kench. Stays with it as he bowled his way through Derek Kramer that time to cut the lead to six, 28-22 for the Panthers. Man-to-man -man defense for the Panthers. Penetrate and pitch, kick out, three point, no good. Vandergrind comes up with the rebound and now he turns on the Jets and comes up the floor. And working inside again, losing the handle is Grinch and coming up with the loose ball and missing the short jump shot is Tate Conover. Back the other way, Morrison. Frustrated with himself a little bit as he's been pretty solid here in the first half. Missed an easier shot. Smith down with the board. Six minutes to go, third quarter. Set play. And just a little weave handoff to Colton Smith. And he buries a 16-footer. Cuts the lead to four. 14 now for Smith. Joseph retaliates, coming off the high screen. Nobody picks him up. He's got seven after that three ball. Thank you, Mr. Matson, for helping us out here with the hand signs. For seven, it before. yeah, seven. It's got to be a five and a two. I've got to add, so that takes a moment. Joseph again gets the outlet and a quick run out for the Saints. So. Now we are picking the tempo up here a little bit. I would like to see both teams playing maybe with a little more urgency, at least pushing the ball up the floor to get into their offenses. But most of the time they're content to play half-court offense. And nice little Larry Bird-like set shot. And a steal for Vandergrind. He's almost got fouled, but no call. Had it blocked, got it back, and laid it in. Miles Chandler with the block, but couldn't come up with the loose ball. And the Panthers picking up some pressure now. Morrison going for the lob pass. And Kramer just sets it into the hoop. 35-28. We used to see those kind of lob finishes back in the day in the NCAA when the dunk was outlawed. No way. Yeah, it was outlawed because of uh, Lou Alcindor, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Basically, they changed the rules. Now the Saints with the run out. So I like the tempo coming up as the defense is starting to pick up for both teams, 37 to 28. And that eight-point lead has now extended by one. Vandergrind with the hesitation up fake, joining the Parachute Club are the Saints, and the foul goes on Pierre Joseph, his first. And Vandergrind makes the first couple of subs in, Cade Diedrichson and Ibrahim Ibrahim. I want to thank the coach David Whitfield for helping me with some of the pronunciations. We do our best. Sometimes that's not good enough, but we do our best. Here come the Saints after the two free throws are made. Joseph misses the three and Snohomish with another team rebound as the Saints knock it away. Thank you for joining us on this Saturday night, 37 to 30. Seems like they've kind of been stuck at that seven, eight, nine point mark. Well, sometimes that is the 
difficulty when you find yourself down between six and seven, and there's a long two that make the lead five when you're trying to come back and dig yourself out of that hole. And that's 16, 16 for Smith. Diedrichson popping up a three, and he gets that one to swirl and go in. And we're back to an eight-point lead for the Saints. So it's a back-and-forth game, but the Saints had that eight-point cushion at the halftime, and they have not really relinquished it. Staying with the man-to-man -man defense. Nice screen being set there for Smith as perfect execution by the Panthers. And I'll tell you what, really nice job by Grady Kench on that down screen. And Smith able to break free. There is a miss by Chandler and the rebound by Conover of the Panthers. Now we have a foul called. Lead back to six. Ibrahim with the foul, his first. Looks like they're going to screen for the inbounder again, rolling through the middle. They don't give it to him. Instead, attacking the rim with authority is Jacob Branvold, and he is fouled. That's going to be the fourth foul now. Make it the third on the Saints and the first on Chandler. Branvold made one free throw in the first half. That one skims out of there. Wyatt Wilson checks in for Snohomish. Second one is good, and if Snohomish, one way to cut the gap is certainly shoot a high percentage on your free throws. 40 to 35, 215 mark of the third quarter. Diedrichson off the dribble, misses the three. A nice up fake and crossover, but couldn't get it to go. Smith on the run out. Diedrichson doesn't look like he's too happy with that call, but apparently a push. But they don't call it on Diedrichson. Instead, it goes on Morrison. How tall is that 24 kid? That 24 kid is six foot eight. Wow. It's Derek Kramer, a sophomore, and that's 20 for him. Smith again, finding the hot hand. He was hot early in the first quarter and heating up again here. And we got a double dribble as Branvold passed to his teammate who went the other way. Now Branvold can go get it and pick it up but you cannot dribble again. I have no idea about that. Well, I do because I did that in college as I fired a bullet pass to a wide open referee. <laughs> <laughs> Diedrichson with the mid range jumper. He's got a nice touch. 42 37. 130 to go here in the third quarter. Five point lead. Panthers trying to come back from the deficit. It was eight at the half. And now they're going to try to tighten up on Smith. And then they go inside. And they're going to call a body foul on that. To be honest with you, I don't really like to call. As, you know, we'll let the big guys decide in there. Grady Kench moving in to the post player. And the post player fighting him, and Kench has been doing a good job inside battling, but uh, missed the free throw. A little bit of body contact, but they're big young men. They can take that. Kench makes one of two. That is just the first one on Kramer so far, and is that 11 points, you said, for Kench? And holding his ground there. Grady Kench doing a nice job. As he established his position and got himself ran over 
And by Ibrahim, that's the second foul on Ibrahim. Sixth foul now on the Saints, one on Snohomish, but we already have more fouls called here in the third quarter than in all of the first half combined. So the tempo has started to pick up a little bit, and the lead is four. Snohomish trying to set their uh, offense, looking for Smith. They find him out at the three-point elbow on the left side. Vandergrind with the pass, and he's up to 23 now. As he has been red hot here in the third quarter. Ibrahim with the pass over to Morrison. Morrison's been quiet here in the third quarter. Three ball on the way. And Kench rips the board. And the Panthers are within one point. And they got 10 seconds to do something with that here in the third quarter. Goes into Kench. Hand off to Smith. He loses the handle, 3.8, and in some ways, this is not a good break for Interlake as they get the jump ball, but they will not have it at the quarter, and they just have 3.8 to do something with it. And they've got to go full court, so we're going to see some pressure here now to try to slow them down and make them take a long Long shot. Morrison tried to get open instead. It goes right to Smith. He's fouled and on the floor. Coach Wilson lobbying a little bit, but that's still going to be a one and one as the Saints piled up six fouls there in the quarter. So Smith who's been red hot, makes the first and ties the game up. So good run for the Panthers in the last couple of minutes of that quarter. And the Panthers have the lead. And they'll have the ball as well. 25 for Smith. Panthers will have the ball. So now all of a sudden the energy's picked up and we got a ball game here on STSPN. We'll be right back. As a leading builder of new homes and commercial properties in western Washington, Gamut 360 Holdings has built a reputation for honest communication, exceptional customer service, and superior craftsmanship since 2003. Our 360 degree construction approach guarantees each project is designed and built with you in mind, matching first class materials with the highest of construction standards. From the planning stages to the final walkthroughs, Gamut 360 delivers trusted, sustainable investments that exceed owner expectations and transform Northwest neighborhoods. Gamut 360, design, create, inspire. You know, I've been wanting to buy this truck and I've been so busy with work that I haven't been able to make it into the dealership. Well, Raritans and Monroe is actually bringing the vehicle to me. I gotta go, it looks like it's here right now, I'll call you back. Too busy to schedule a test drive? Raritans of Monroe will bring the test drive to you. It's part of our new concierge service personalized car shopping built for today's customer. It's another reason why Raritans of Monroe is a customer service champion. Let us know what we can do for you. Welcome back to Snohomish High School. And what was kind of a sleepy game in the first half has suddenly picked up in intensity. And the Panthers erased an eight-point deficit and now lead by one at the start of the fourth quarter. As... Interlake seemed to have the momentum going, and suddenly the last portion of that third quarter was all Panthers. 43-42, Vandergrind, high post entry, and being tough inside, once again has his shot blocked, was Grady Kench, but he's not backing down, and neither is Derek Kramer, the 6'8 sophomore. A couple of sophomores going at it here for both teams. Nice jump out there by... Grady, and the defensive pressure has picked up not only primary help on the drive to the basket, but in that case there, secondary help getting into the passing lane and a force and out of bounds play. 14 on the clock. Tough inside Morrison, very cold, and nice tap in with the left hand. 
And somebody got poked in the shooting eye there. One of the Snohomish players is going to go to the bench. That's Wyatt Wilson. I thought I recognized that woman that was photobombing us earlier. <laughs> Interlake retakes the lead, 44-43. Back and forth we go. Looking for that high screen roll. Not going to do it. He now has to pick up his dribble. Conover comes out to help Vandergrind out. Smith, who was red hot in the first quarter and the third quarter, misses a long three. Almost comes away with the steal. And Smith pulls down the board off of the Kramer miss. He's got a nice shot, doesn't he? Smith? Yeah. He does. 6'4", senior. And you'll like to see that because, you know, old school, 6'4", guys, a lot of times, you know, play around the key, and he's willing to move out inside. And with the left hand... And Vandergreen needs to fight around the front of him as he's got 13, apparently. <laughs> Is that the hand sign there? Yeah. Forcing me to add him. You see the guys in the movies giving those hand signs when they're sneaking up on people. I have no idea what they're talking about. <laughs> Smith may be trying to force here a little bit too much. But uh, loose ball comes away of the Panthers who also have the one point lead. And now Morrison comes away with the steal. Morrison was cold and he rolls one in, gets a shooter's roll. I don't think he scored in the third quarter. And he was the leading scorer for them. He's now got 13 in the game. And Interlake once again has the lead. And I don't know how many lead changes that is, but it's been several here in the second half. Good pressure by the Panthers. Morrison up ahead now gets the pass. Off target again. You know, I just don't see very much Kramer. movement. You know, we cover a lot of games. You know, we're I think we're at about 50 games already this season. But We've, so we see a lot of teams, and there's a lot of movement on the floor. And, uh, there just is not that much movement on the floor tonight. Uh, yeah, that's true. Um, it, and as, know, we, as we say that, there's a good run out by the Saints, but the layup is missed. Rebound comes down to Branvold. And... And I'm not talking about running back and forth. I'm right, talking you're talking about, about you know, offensive players around, moving. Around, 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 around. Well, there's a reason if you're running a motion offense, there's a reason it's called motion oh. offense. But uh, these teams are seeming Snohomish specifically seem to be running a lot of uh, offensive sets where you're passing the ball and playing a three-man game where uh, two players will occupy one side of the floor and let the three guys work. And so you got two guys just uh, standing around. Others are setting screens. That's by nature of the offense. But you also have uh, Interlake doing a lot of trying to penetrate into the key and pitch it out to the outside shooters. And so they, they're kind of stationary. Is there, you see some good defense as Grady Kench fights around the front without wrapping the off arm around and got his hand into the passing lane, knocked that out of bounds with 21 seconds to go. 46-45, Interlake with that one point lead. Morrison's gonna get fouled there by Tate Conover. New clock as there are eight fouls on Interlake and that's gonna be just the second foul on Snohomish, so when it gets down to the nitty gritty here, Snohomish is gonna have some fouls to give. And let's see if Coach Wilson can take advantage of that because you can increase your defensive pressure and not send anybody to the line. And there's another one on Conover and that might be by design as you don't wanna get right to the one and one, but you wanna get close should uh, something go awry and you need to stop the clock with the fouls. That's a fourth foul 
however, on Conover. So I'm going to guess that's not by design because I probably wants to stay on the floor, and now he's going to have a seat on the pines. Lob, sideline out of bounds play. Now, see, that's the same call. That was on the that, other uh, end. Basically, that was the same call at the other end. In fact, there was a little more force on that, and they called the foul, and that time they let him play. So, you know, you want consistency. And Vandergrind challenging the 6'8 Kramer and comes up empty after the block shot. So we got 48-45, and you don't want Morrison to get loose here for the Saints. And... That is an excellent timeout by Coach Wilson as with 3.23 to go, he's going to talk it over with the timeout. 48-45, the Saints on top of the Panthers. We'll be right back here on STSPN. As a leading builder of new homes and commercial properties in western Washington, Gamut 360 Holdings has built a reputation for honest communication, exceptional customer service, and superior craftsmanship since 2003. Our 360-degree construction approach guarantees each project is designed and built with you in mind, matching first-class materials with the highest of construction standards. From the planning stages to the final walkthroughs, Gamut 360 delivers trusted, sustainable investments that exceed owner expectations and transform Northwest neighborhoods. Gamut 360, design, create, inspire. We are back, 322 to go. Smith handling the ball for the Panthers. He's the leading scorer with 20 for Snohomish and Kench with 13. So they've been the one-two punch. They are trailing by three. Kench working way outside right now. I don't know that he's all that comfortable. We got somebody hitting the deck, but there's not going to be any call. And Kench takes an outside shot from about 15. And Interlake. Yeah, I thought there was some, a few extra steps there. That's that Saturday night fever dance step <laughs> yeah. that we have. And it is Saturday night, so I already used that joke. I yeah, had to yeah. come up. I had to come up with something else. Yeah, you gotta you gotta make sure you put a little mark there next to the different. Uh, I can't remember all of my great <laughs> jokes that I tell. So. Is that on my stat sheet? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bad jokes, yeah. 2.45 to go. So Coach Wilson wanted to make some adjustments, and he's trying to get loose, get Smith loose, and he's double teamed out top, and he wheels around and is tripped up. So he's going to go to the line now. And we mentioned the foul total a little earlier, the next foul for that Interlake commits will send Snohomish to the line for two. 21 now for a Smith. What's that called, double bonus? It's called double bonus, and now, now he's got 25 points, so we recounted on the points here. He's actually up to 25, make it 25 as he misses the second one with the announcer jinx, but Snohomish within two, two and a half to go here. Going for the steal, coming up empty, three ball on the way. Chambers tried to keep the miss alive, but couldn't get to it. Ran down by Smith of Snohomish. And going to reset, looking for that high screen and roll. One of the more difficult sets against a man-to-man -to, -man to defend is that high screen and roll. Smith going to force one up, uses the glass, misses, rebounded by Kramer, brings it down low. And Conover tries to tie him up. And instead, he's going to be called for his fifth. Nevertheless, that gets Nahomish closer to the one and one. So in terms of total number, that's not a bad play. But for Conover, his night is over with the five fouls. The Saints would really need a hoop here. And I'd be trying to set Morrison up. Instead, they force it inside. Vandergrind gets in the passing lane. 
And going to give Snohomish a chance to tie or take the lead here. Vandergrind working on Morrison. And Snohomish trying to free Smith. And they run a screen, the screener play as Wes Oslin screened across for Smith and then popped to the top. Missed the jumper, however. Now Snohomish looking maybe to trap a little bit as they're playing some 1-3-1. One, one. And Smith gets his hand in the lane and comes up with the steal. That is a big steal. They were trying to find Morrison. And Coach Wilson going to take another full timeout here on STS. PN 106 to go. Saints leading the Panthers 48-46. Going to be exciting last minute. We'll be right back. McDaniel's Do It Center is located in beautiful Snohomish, Washington. Locally owned and operated for over 40 years, they are proud to provide the Snohomish Valley with exceptional hardware, tools, lawn and garden, and sporting goods products. Their commitment to delivering legendary customer service and their outstanding employees continue to make McDaniel's the best and one of the most recognized Do It Best centers in the nation. Stop by and experience for yourself the difference between McDaniel's and the big box stores. Discover why so many people are choosing to shop at McDaniel's. You know that test drive I've been trying to get to? You're not going to believe this, but Raritans of Monroe just delivered it to my work. I gotta go. Too busy to schedule a test drive? Raritans of Monroe will bring the test drive to you. It's part of our new concierge service. We are back here on STSPN. Leading scores... For Snohomish, Smith with 26, Kent with 13, Vandergrind with 6, Morrison for Interlake with 13, Joseph with 9, Barrows with 6, and Kramer with 6. Uh, Smith is 20. Smith is number 20. Yeah, see, he really wants a shirt. <laughs> well, he's getting close, but they're trailing by 2. One minute to go here. And that is tipped, almost went out of bounds. Smith went ahead and grabbed it. Shot clock down to 18. And going to go two for one here if they can. So Snohomish trying to get something set. We're down to eight, forced inside by Brandvold. Now down to four. Smith going to take a long NBA three. Off the iron, Morrison rebounds. Tied up with the jump ball at the arrow. Favoring the Saints. And going a little bit of offense, defense. Ibrahim in for the defense. He checks out, and that's going to bring back Pierre Joseph. And we've got another timeout on the floor. As with 30, as often the case, a minute to go in the game, take about five minutes to play. We got a full timeout. We'll be back 48 46 here on STSPN. We are all frustrated with the high cost of heating and cooling our homes. At GNS, we are completely changing the way you keep your home comfortable. Because we are Snohomish County's premier Lennox dealer, we can design a perfect system for you, one that will save you a lot of money on your utility bill. The Lennox Home Comfort System creates the ideal home environment. Enjoy innovation in every season with precise, quietly efficient Lennox heat pumps that keep your life simply perfect. Call GNS Heating, Cooling, and Electric today or visit us at gsheating.com. that Speedway Chevrolet is part of the Lee Johnson Auto family? That means 84 years of serving you the LJ way. Need a truck? We have the perfect truck to fit your needs. Half tons, one ton, two wheel drives, and four wheel drives. Our finance specialists are here to help you whether you have good credit or bad credit. We're just off Highway 522 at West Main Street in Monroe. Lee Johnson Auto family, the LJ way. We are back here on STSPN. This is Mike Buckles, the Saints with a lead. And here is where that foul situation comes into play as they still have to commit two more to get to the one and one. And we're down to the nitty gritty now. And I've seen that called an intentional foul before when you're grabbing players here with the clock stopped. 
And they're going to try to run it out. There is another one as Joe Barrows is fouled. And you're going to see another one right here as well. And we're going to see if Interlake can shoot some free throws here. Who's our they, leading scorer there? Our adrenaline fundraising potential. Potential. Uh, Colton Smith. Well, it, Morrison for Morrison, Interlake. I think, has uh, been a really good player for and there is the foul. That is going to send Joseph to the line. But we have another couple here that we might uh, consider as well. So as uh, Jeff was talking about, sometimes 20, 26 seconds can be an awful long time here in the game. And Pierre Joseph at the line for a one and one. Snohomish, of course, hoping for the miss. Interlake hoping for two makes. First one is a make, still a one possession game if that possession is a three ball. If the lead is four, Snohomish needs a score. It doesn't matter if it's a four or two. They're going to need a score, and it is good, so they fouled the wrong guy. Lead is four. Here comes Snohomish. Vandergrind kind of holding it and looking inside, gives it up. And going one-on-one, -on -one. layup is good. We got a timeout as they got the ball at the elbow. Excellent footwork there by the post player, Grady Kench, as he did a little up fake and took the ball to the rim, kissed it off the glass, 50-48, to 48, Interlake by two. We'll be back right after this on STSPN. Here, thousands of groups depend on Adrenaline Fundraising to help reach their financial goals. Adrenaline Fundraising is about developing leaders through commitment, work ethic, and follow-through. Adrenaline has several products including gold cards, coupon books, cookie dough, donation programs, and many other options to help teams raise the funds needed for their programs. Adrenaline's new app called Upay will help teams raise money while providing their supporters the ability to earn cash back on everyday purchases at places like Starbucks, Nike, Red Robin, and over 200 plus national retailers. Adrenaline Fundraising is this season's sponsor of the STSPN's Play of the Game Award. about four blocks welcome back here as we're uh, off air we've been discussing some statistics and stuff here coming up 15.8 to go and Snohomish is out of timeouts and you are going to see at least coach Wilson of Snohomish hopes you're going to see a quick foul or a steal and there is a quick foul and they have fouled Joe Barrows Barrows is a 6-2 Junior. So just a little bit of time off the clock. So defensively, the Panthers execute. Panthers are trailing by two. A lot of time to go. And we're back to where we were here a few moments ago where Coach David Whitfield is looking for a free throw or two to be made. And, of course, Snohomish looking for the first one to be missed. I sure like... Uh Smith play tonight. Yeah, Smith has played a very good got ball game, and uh, I'll tell you what, uh, Interlake has, has hung with it as well, and our money on the free throws. So trouble again for the Panthers as they are down four. They need a basket. Again, it doesn't matter if it's a three or a two, but they need – and open shot, here comes Vandergrind quickly, and he got called for the carry, and he knew it. And when you have to go at full speed under pressure, those are the kinds of things that sometimes happen, and that is a turnover with 12.7 seconds to go in the lead four. And, oh, oh, he makes up for it by getting close to Pierre Joseph, and Joseph gets called for the push off. Now I said that Interlake was in the double bonus they are, but an offensive foul you do not shoot. And so 12.7, 
with the ball, and there's the three ball on the way, and it's no good, but laid up and no good again. It goes off, and Snohomish with possession, 6.6, but the clock is very much the enemy of the Panthers, and Coach Whitfield going to use some of his timeouts to see what he can do about icing the Panthers here on STS. In. Oh, we're going to keep it here as the score is 52 to 48, 6.6 seconds to go. And uh, off the air, I suppose we will be having some discussion about who players, uh, who the player of the game will be. And that is presented by Adrenaline Fundraising and David Wright, North Sound representative. So if you need any fundraising, whatever your organization Get a hold of a David Wright at Adrenaline Fundraising. He does a great job. I used to use him when I was coaching. Going to be a box formation out of bounds. And well, I, turn, I turned myself off. Oh, okay. Well, we like that. <laughs> I was going to say, David got his money's worth this year because, boy, we did a lot of games. Did a lot of games. And so we got a question coming in. We have a sub coming in here. After the buzzer, you cannot do that. Now, it's going to be interesting to see if Coach Whitfield decides to foul. Personally, I would not because you're not going to get a four-point play and you're stopping the clock. And the other thing is, is being out of timeouts, I would just let him score and then just hold the ball out of bounds and not even inbounds because you need five seconds, so just hold it out. And we've got a violation, and that's just going to be a warning. And actually, that is a smart play because the clock was running, and now they have stopped the clock, and they're going to have to inbound. So that is – now, whether it was by design or not, if it was, uh, that was good coaching. They're going to have to throw it in, and we got a foul called with 1.9, and it is going to be the senior guard, Russell Morrison, going to the free throw line for the Interlake Saints to see if he can ice the game. And I would say, some people might say with 1.9 to go that it's not going to matter if he makes these or not. But I'll tell you what, we have seen stranger things happen. First shot on the way. It is a miss, and that's going to do it. As Morrison misses, and then the rugby scrum ends the game. Interlake, 52-50 to 50 over Snohomish. We're going to take a break and be right back with our Adrenaline Fundraising Player of the Game right after this. When you shop at Ace Hardware in Everett and Lake Stevens, we'll help you find what you're looking for and offer friendly advice, too. Owners Greg and Christine are all about serving their customers and their community. They support local high school sports and many other community organizations and events. So the next time you need help with your to-do list or project around the house, bring it to Ace. They'll greet you at the door and help you find whatever you need fast. Show your support for locally owned businesses. Shop Ace Hardware just off Highway 9 in Lake Stevens and Evergreenway in Everett. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware folks. You guys have won a lot of close games this year. Yeah, um, a lot of games came down to the wire, so. Okay, we're back here on STSPN. I kind of missed my cue there. This is Mike Buckles. I am here with our player of the game, Pierre Joseph, who is a 5'11 junior guard for the Interlake Saints. So uh, unofficially, you came away with 11 points tonight. You had four rebounds and a steal. Uh, good defense out there as well. Overall, good floor game, and you hit some key free throws down the stretch. Yeah, um, great game. Happy to pull out the win for my team. Uh, actually, ended up being 13 points, but yeah. Oh, was it 13? Yeah. Well, this is unofficial. Unofficial. Yeah, yeah. We're, That's we're, what I like. Uh, I'll tell you what. A guy who's a scorer knows how many points. <laughs> yeah. <on> the, uh, <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, well, we don't want, we don't want to screw that up. Well, it turned out to be a lucky 13 for you as you hit those uh, key free throws down the game. So uh, tell us about how your season's going so far. Uh, we're doing all right. We're pulling through. Um, big turnaround season last year. We didn't win many games. This year, we're looking to make a playoff run. Um, just got to play harder, give more effort. Everything comes down to the end, make free throws, whatever I have to do. Just got to do it. Yeah, sometimes uh, you need a game like this where it's a close game on a, a, an away game, and you guys do what you need to do. Uh, defensively, you play mostly man-to-man, a little bit of that 1-3-1 one, one trap. Uh, how do you like playing with your big guy inside? He covers a lot of airs up for you guys on the defensive end, doesn't he? I love it. He makes everything easier for me. On any given night, I can go for 10 assists, and he'll go for 30 points, and it's just – balances and makes everything easier so nice. I, I, I can i cannot give him enough credit like he's he's helping me a lot this season and you have some good compliment there also with your other guard russell morris yes, stepping yes. in and so uh, senior guard yeah you, you, you guys have a good mix you got some good uh, kids coming off the bench uh, contributing as well and so uh we like watching your team play and uh you got through it tonight so well done and nice job we've got a t-shirt for you uh it's uh, sponsored by yeah, hold a, that up. A, Adrenaline Fundraising. And uh, we're going to have your picture posted now. I know that you haven't got the makeup on and the hair all fixed up and <laughs> yeah. stuff because you've been out working hard. But uh, there you go. That's good right there. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, no, player of the game shirt, man. We give one out every game, and uh, we've done five games this week. So, uh, and here you are. You guys did a really great job. It seemed like it was a little bit slow at the beginning, but. Yeah. Uh, uh, it started to pick up a little bit towards the end. Yeah. yeah. Anything surprise you about Snohomish? No, it's um, the right here is longer than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Yeah. 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 Well, it's going to be a shorter bus ride home then if you'd have come away with the loss too. So that always yeah, yeah. that always helps yeah. out. Yeah. All right. Well, congratulations. Excellent job, and uh, good luck uh, in the season. And uh, maybe you'll be able to upset somebody if you make it into the playoffs. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Nice meeting you. Good luck. Congratulations. All right, so some of the uh, overall stats here that we have in the game, uh, leading scores, let's go uh, with uh, the Saints, um, Morrison and Joseph uh, combining for 26, 13 points each. Uh, also, uh, Joe uh, Barrows uh, with six, uh, the post player Derek Kramer, uh, with six as well. Kramer leading the way with 15 rebounds and three blocked shots as well for the Snohomish Panthers. Uh, Colton Smith uh, leading the way with 28 points. Uh, post player Grady Kench doing a nice job battling inside as he chipped in uh, with 15 points and uh Five rebounds. That's unofficial as well. And uh, point guard uh, Josh uh, Vandergrind chipping in with six points also. I uh, want to thank Jeff Matson for uh, uh, keeping uh, some of these stats for you. And uh, my name is Mike Buckles And Todd, uh, another successful game. Another uh, good job of production tonight. And Maybe we made a couple of errors here, but uh, nobody would notice if we hadn't have said, hey, we made an error. That's, that's exactly <laughs> right. I had to put Jeff on the, uh, on the camera there. He's uh, packing up our scoreboard connection. So, anyway, yeah, we're out of here. We're out of here. Okay, well, I want to thank everybody for joining us. And uh, when's the next broadcast? Tuesday. Tuesday, and you got But uh, I don't have a play-by-play guy yet, so I'm going to have to. You're going to have to try to find one. Yeah, it's the only one uh, in the rest of the season that I don't have uh, somebody, but I'll, I'll get somebody. Oh, uh, no, well, no, wait, we'll talk about that off the air. So I've got Wednesday, Friday next week. I was thinking uh, last week I was Tuesday, Wednesday. So where are you going to go? Um, I think I am. Um, okay, I don't want to say. You don't want to say. Don't wanna say sure. We'll talk about it off the air. <laughs> but I want to thank everybody for joining us. And uh, we, uh, as far as we know, uh, our farthest listener was down in San Diego, Angus McDonald. So we want to wish him a happy new year and a happy full moon as well. Thanks for tuning in.